Hey guys, welcome back for another episode of No Man's Sky. So today episode, I'm gonna show you step by step how to get your own living ship and how to change the color for living ship so you get the one you want exactly. Make sure you watch until the end so you can get your own ship as well. So let's get into it. There's two things you need to be able to get the living ship. You need to find the portal and you need to get the 16 glyph. If you don't know how to find the portal and how to get the 16 glyph, there is video right now for you. You need to come to this guy here in the anomaly and we would like to talk to him and you need to buy void egg you need to do quick silver mission to be able to get the void egg and you can ask the travelers in the anomaly there's a lot of good people would like to give free void egg the next thing after you get the void egg we would like to go to space right now we have one void egg here and all we have to do now we would like to use the plus engine until object to tell you to slow down so let's use it here for a few seconds as you see there is object here all we have to do we need to slow down and after you slow down you can see there is mission here all we have to do to answer the communication when we answer the communication we need to click on continue to listen here it's in the location to another system so all we have to do to go to galaxy map right now and after we go to the galaxy map all we have to do we need to follow the green light here it's going down and we need to go to the system it has egg next to it as you see this void egg all we have to do we need to go to it right now and when you enter the system as you see here all we have to do we need to follow the mission for the star bears and after that we would like to use the sweep mode to locate the area as you see it's the front of us there it will send you to monolith side here all you have to do you need to come to it and you would like to talk to it here as you see after you talk to it it give you items don't worry if you never seen hex side before i will show you where to get it now this is our first mission there is four of them exactly i'm gonna show you each item how to get it as you see we need hex side to be able to craft it after you get it the items they will show you side mission to be able to get hex side as you see the source is gonna be there all we have to do go there to get hex side as you see it send you to source here all you have to do come here talk to it and it will give you hex side we got the first item right now we would like to talk about the second item bagnium you can get it from killing sentinels and you can buy it from the other ship in trading outpost or space station for vacation you can buy it from trading outpost as well so all we have to do we would like to craft the items here and after you craft the first item all you have to do come to the monolith here for the void egg and you would like to give it to it as you see we got the freaking nature stem as you see here this is our first one as you see each mission it take day to activate it you basically need five days to be able to get the living ship but i can tell you how to skip this with progress all you have to do if you are in console or playstation or bc go your time zone on bc or playstation and change it to next day 24 hours and the mission will be complete make sure your multiplayer is disabled i just did it i changed my time and as you see the mission already done if you look in the right corner it says the void egg is humping that's mean you're ready to go to the next mission so let's go to the next mission right now we would like to go to space and when we go to space we would like to use the blast engine again until we get the second contact as you see the second object showing up all you have to do is just to slow down and when you slow down you need to answer the communication again and after we answer the communication it will accept the termination here and it will send us to another location the same thing we did in the first one and right now you need to go to galaxy map and after you go to the galaxy map we need to follow the void egg as you see here down there so let's go to the second mission i just enter this system the second mission on this planet so all we have to do go there as you see I landed in the site for the second area right now we would like to open the sweep target and we need to locate the area as you see it's this way so we need to go there as you see we're getting close to the area here for the second mission all we have to do we would like to talk to it it will give you upgrade you need to install it on your multi tool that's the first thing and the second thing we need to get the liquid sun and that's what we need on the upgrade for multi tool as you see we need to install the upgrade right now solar ray for the second dimension all we have to do install it with cobalt and magnetize for height here and after that we would like to look for any deposit as you see there is deposit next to us here all we have to do go to it right now as you see it doesn't matter what deposit all you have to do is just to farm any deposit it give you liquid sun as you see here as you see we got the liquid sun for the second mission the next thing you need gold which it's easy to get you can get it from space station or an asteroid the third item is gonna be murdered you can get murdered by killing creature in the map so it's pretty easy to get all we have to do is just to craft it now after you crafted the second items we would like to give it to ancient site here as you see we got the frigal heart as the second item so we got two items right now so we finished two missions there is two mission left if you look at the right side there is another 20 hours so all i have to do i'm gonna change my time again one day ahead if you look in the right corner it show you the void egg is humping and await contact so all you have to do to get the third mission you need to go to space and do the same progress again 
And when you go to space again, all you have to do just to use the plus engine until you get the contact. As you see, we got the third mission. All we have to do is slow down again. And we need to contact to it. The same progress we did before for the first two. All we have to do is just accept the location. And right now we need to go galaxy map to go to the third mission. As you see the void egg next to this system. All we have to do is just to go to it. As you see I just entered this system. All we have to do is just to go to the location it shows us for the third mission. All you have to do, you need to click on your scan for the swap target and we need to locate the third target it's gonna be in this area so all we have to do go to it right now. As you see we located the third area for void egg, all we have to do go to it right now. And after you go to it you would like to talk to it. It will give you item to craft, don't worry I will show you how to get the items for it right now. As you see the first item you can get from his base station or you can refine the copper to get it. The second item, Hypnotic Eye, it will give you a mission to go to the area you can get Hypnotic Eye from. So let's go right now to it. As you see it show you nest for the area right now. All we have to do go to it next to the water here. All you have to do go under the water. As you see when you go to the nest it's gonna show you Abyssal Horror here. All you have to do you need to destroy it just to be close to it. Not too close because it can grab you. And all you have to do just to shoot it until you kill it. And after you kill it make sure you grab the eye quick and after you grab the eye you need to get out of the water after you get hypnotic eye there's gonna be living water mission so where to get the living water all you have to do after you get hypnotic eye you need to go to space it will take you to mission so where you can get the living water and after you go to space all you have to do is just use the blast engine until there is object stopping you and that's where we're gonna get the living water from okay as you see there is object showing up here all you have to do is just to slow down and look at this. This is really so good looking. Okay, we would like to answer communication for it. Let's answer the communication here. As you see here, we get in living water from this creature. And after we got all the items right now, we would like to craft the item for it. After you craft the third item for the third mission, all you have to do go back to the location. After you go to it, all you have to do is just give it the third item. So let's give it the third items here. After you give it the third items, it's gonna give you Fregal Shell as you see here. And if you look in the right corner, it shows you the next mission gonna active after one day. So see you guys after it. After we finish the three mission, if you look in the right corner, it shows you the Void Egg is humping, await contact. All you have to do is just go to the space and do the same progress again. Use the Blast Engine until the contact is showing up. So I'm gonna do that so quick. As you see the last object for the last mission showing up, so all we have to do is slow down here. And we need to answer the communication so it will send us to a special system. All we have to do is just accept and we need to go to the galaxy map again. And as you can see, you can see the egg next to the system right now for the last mission. All we have to do go right now for it. And when you enter the system here, all you have to do go to the void egg location. And when we go to the location, all we have to do use the swim mode. As you see the swim mode in this way, so see you guys when I get there. And when you go to the first mission, all you have to do talk to it here. As you see it gives me multi-tool upgrade so all we have to do we would like to install it. So let's install it right now. And right now we would like to install the multi-tool upgrade. We just install it here. We need fragment quella. To get fragment quella you need to install the multi-tool upgrade. And after that you have to do all just to shoot the creature around. Shooting them and we collecting the fragment quella. And after you get 100 for fragment qualia all you have to do is just craft the last item seed of glass. And after you craft the item seed of glass, all you have to do come to the four location here for void and you would like to give it to it. So let's give it to it right now. And after you get the first item, as you see here in the right corner, you need to wait 22 hours. So see you guys after that. As you see after day, I got the four items already ready. So all you have to do next, you would like to go to space. As you see in the right corner, it's the void egg is humping. This is gonna be the final part for it. All you have to do go to the space. Do the plus engine again. It will contact you. And right now you need to find the portal. If you don't know how to find the portal, there's a video right now in the screen for you. As you see, I'm in portal location right now. If you open your inventory and you look at the egg, you can see the glyph you need to enter in the portal. So let's enter them right now quick. I will show you the glyph. You can take a screenshot after I put them all. You can take a screenshot now. After you put the glyph, all you have to do is just enter the portal right now. The next thing we need to do, we need to go our ship right now after we come from the portal. Right now we would like to go to the egg area, so let's go to the egg area right now. After we go to the area, all we have to do, we need to open the target swipe right now to locate the area. As you see here, we located, so see you guys when I get there. After that, the egg gonna send you to location here. All you have to do is just to enter. And when we talk to the terminal here, we need to collect the resource. It's like collecting the glyph. 
as you can see the side mission show you where the lost traveler is all you have to do just to go to it and you can get soul from it and when you go to the area to collect the soul all you have to do you need to active the target swipe here and we need to locate the travelers as you see here we located the first soul all we have to do talk to it let's collect the soul it's gonna show you the next location on the map for the next soul so all you have to do just to go to it so i'm gonna do that so i'm gonna collect three of them see you guys when i finish and after i got the three souls as you see here right now we would like to go back to the portal so let's go back to right now to the portal as you can see we are in the portal all we have to do we need to go inside to go back to our location i just came out for the portal the next part is very important do not go to your ship yet we would like to put save back on as you see here we would like to create a save we can right now go to our ship and if we don't like the color we can just reload auto save again if we found a good color from someone and we would like to go to this color one for living ship you can just use the portal to do that so for me i would like a specific color living ship so i will enter the glyph for it now before i go to my ship so let's enter the glyph for it right now put in the last glyph for it right now you can take a screenshot I would like to tell you it's a Euclid galaxy as well so let's go inside right now I just landed as you see here all we have to do now to be able to get the living ship we would like to go to our starship and when we go to the starship you will see communication for it let's answer it here and let's crack the void egg here let's crack it it gives me right now location for living ship so all we have to do we need to go to space and go to it right now and if we don't like the color we can just reload to save and change it so let's land here as you can see we are here in the living ship it's a little bit pink i would like it more red actually or blue so all we have to do we just need to reload manual auto save right now make sure it's manual reload auto save so let's reload manual auto save we just reloaded manual auto save all we have to do we need to use the portal again and go to the same location it's gonna give us this time different color so it doesn't matter you can go to my location you can go to other location it's up to you so you can just go to your ship and you can choose so i'm gonna put the same location because i would like a specific color there as you can see we land in here look at this living ship what color it is let's look in the photo mode because i can't see Look at this color, it's yellow and black and a little bit green. I do like it actually. This is the color I was looking for. If you don't like it, you can just reload manual save and keep doing the same progress until you get the one you want. For me, I would like this color actually. So let's talk to it here. Right now, let's give it all the item we did. So let's give it item here. First item, the second item, the third item, the last item as you see here. And the last one, we need to give it the soul as well. And after that, it's done. All you have to do, you need to contact to it right now. As you see the living ship here, we need to compare for it right now. And after we compare, all we have to do is just claim the ship. So we just claim the ship as you see here. And the sentinel just attacked me the moment I just claimed the ship. This mission for living ship, it can take a little bit while. It's a little bit complicated. But if you follow it step by step, I'm sure you will get there. And you will get your own living ship. If this video really helped you, you can hit this like button and subscribe to the channel. And tell me in comment what color you like for living ship. So guys, we came to the end of this episode. I hope you love this video. I hope you learned something new. So see you guys next time. Peace out out